Thank you for joining us on the Mount Sinai Missionary Baptist Church of Memphis Incorporated YouTube channel. I thank God for another opportunity to be with you. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, your word gives us much information of who you are and what you can do and what you will not do. You are uh, everywhere and your power is unlimited. And, and so we ask that uh, through your word that you would give the increase that our faith may grow because faith comes by hearing and hearing by your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our text for this week is found in Joshua chapter 1, verse 4, and we've been working with this all of this year now. Uh, Joshua chapter 1, verse 4, it reads, From the wilderness and this Lebanon as far as the great river and the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites of the great sea towards the going down of the sun shall be your territory. Now, so far this year, we've talked about letting go to go forward. We also talked about God's already been where you are going and don't get stuck in life's passageway. This week, we're going to talk about God has a wonderful blueprint for your life. God has a wonderful blueprint for your life. And, uh, Next week, uh, just a little heads up, next week, if the Holy Spirit leads us to continue in that direction, we will talk about uh, yesterday's faithfulness guarantees tomorrow's courage. And it takes some courage to go into uh, this new year and to go forward and to go in and, 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 and with anticipation of what God has given us. All we've got to do is to go in and possess it. Now, uh, about uh, God has a wonderful blueprint for your life. Think briefly about the idea of living in a mansion in a house. Mind-boggling. Usually we think in terms of a house as being, it can be a big house, a medium-sized house, or a small house. But uh, a, a mansion is huge. And to have a mansion that's in a house, that is mind boggling. Uh, Jesus says to us in John uh, chapter 14, verse two and three, he says, in my father's house are many mansions. And if it were not so, I would have told you. He says, I go to prepare a place for you and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there you may be also. Can you imagine a house so large that it can hold mansion-sized dwelling places? Now, I think now you're you're ready to take a trip with me to view the vastness land that God had given to his people Israel. Now the meaning of the word Euphrates is not known, but what we do know is very significant. And in, in our text, Joshua chapter one, verse four, it says, from the wilderness. And this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, of the to the greatest to the great sea towards the going down of the sun, shall be your territory. God is giving them a vast amount of real estate, of land. Now, we must take into consideration the travel modes during that time period. Walking and riding on animals was the mode of uh, preferred transportation, if not the best mode. Nowadays, we don't walk very far at all. 
We ride in automobiles and we catch trains and planes, which make the world more like a neighborhood or a community. Now, the, 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 the biggest part of this land or the instrument that God used to measure out this land is the river Euphrates. It begins in the mountains of the Armenians in this modern day Turkey. It then heads west towards the Mediterranean Sea and turns south and swings in a wide bow through Syria and then flows some 1,000 uh, 1, miles uh, southeast to join the Tigris River before it empties into the Persian Gulf. The Euphrates River is about uh, 1,780 miles long and uh, smaller vessels can navigate for about uh, 1,200 miles in this great river. The ruins of many ancient cities are located along the river in, uh, in such as Iraq, Babylon, Kish, and Ur. You've heard of Ur. Uh, the river Euphrates is named as one of the four rivers that that uh, the river of the Garden of Eden divided in two and joined in Genesis chapter 2, verse 14. The Euphrates River forms the northern boundaries of the territories promised by God to Israel in Genesis chapter 15, verse 18, and Joshua chapter 1 and 4. The vastness of this the stretches of this great river indicates the size of the land God was giving to Israel. The inheritance of God had, that God has for his people today is even greater. If you can possibly wrap your mind around that thought. First Corinthians uh, chapter two, verse nine says, but as it is written in God's word, eyes have not seen, nor ears heard, neither have entered into the heart of man, the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. God has a wonderful blueprint for your life. Now, let's look at the, this blueprint. What information do we find? God is in every detail. Remember uh, a couple of weeks ago, we talked about uh, that God has already been where we're going in this year. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. There's nothing old or new to him. Everything is now. He has prepared all things for us and they will work together for our good. Romans 8 and 28 says, and we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are the called according to his purpose. Our Lord has left nothing to chance. We know that. When he bids us to go into the unknown to us, he's already been there and he has left nothing to chance. He has never surprised, he's never been surprised or caught off guard by anything. He's, he's a sovereign God who has carefully planned a beautiful life for each of us in this year of 2021. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, you're familiar with it. It says, for I know the plan. This is God talking. I know the plan, the plans, plural, all of the plans. For I know the plans I have for you, declared the Lord. Plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. In other words, where we're going is better than where we are leaving from. The sovereign God that we serve 
will not control our choices, but he does control the outcome. He will ensure that all things, that he will work all things out for our good. Even Paul in Romans chapter 8, verse 35 through 39, uh, he says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulations or distresses or persecution or famine or nakedness or dangers or swords? As it is written, and we can depend on God's word. He says, for your sake, we are being killed all the day long. We are regarded as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers. Listen to God's word in this day, in this season that we're living in. Nor powers, nor heights, nor depths, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us, will be able to stop God from loving us in Christ Jesus our Lord. God loves us more than any of us will ever know without his help. And he's constantly, daily, helping us to know how much he loves us. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, that's everybody, even the, the prostitutes, even the drug addicts, even the swindlers, e even the insurrectionists, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Now remember, God is a sovereign God. He will not control our choices, but he does control the outcome. Don't get all upset about what's going on. It might look dark right now, but uh, 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 it's going to be better after a while. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Hallelujah. Romans 5 and 5 says, And hope maketh not a shame, because the love of God is shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Spirit, which, giveth, which is given unto us. The Holy Spirit is is, is, is helping us to see all of the many different ways that God is showing his love for us and to us through his Holy Spirit. And then that same verse, Romans 5 and 5 in the message version says, in alert expectancy such as this, we are never left feeling shortchanged. Quite the contrary. We can't round up enough containers to hold everything God generously pours into our lives through the Holy Spirit. He has left nothing to chance. What a perfect blueprint God has outlined for Joshua and Israel and for us in this day and time concerning our future. He promised Joshua the vast territory on every side, from the desert to Lebanon, from the great river Euphrates to the land of the Hittites, all the way to the great sea where the sun set uh, in the west. God also outlined the northern boundaries, the southern boundaries, the eastern boundaries, and the western boundaries of our lives. And if God can establish the borders of great bodies of water like the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Mississippi River that's near us, he's able to set out our, uh, our borders while allowing us to continue to be free moral agents. God, his will is going to be done in our lives if we love him and trust him and do as he say, obey him and go forward. He has prepared everything specifically for you 
so that all things will work together for your good. God gave the biggest and perfect gift in a manger in a Bethlehem in the form of a baby, one that was named, one of his names was uh, Emmanuel, meaning God with us. God restored the relationship of blessed lives that was lost in the Garden of Gethsemane through his son. On a specific Friday, one Friday evening, on an old rugged cross, on a hill called Calvary. Jesus, the Son of God, died to justify us in the sight of God. They buried him in a borrowed tomb, and, he, and on the third day, he rose early on Sunday morning. He rose with all power in heaven and in earth in his hand power to bring his blueprint for us to pass. God has a wonderful blueprint for our lives. So go forward trusting in the blueprint that he has for us. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 uh, and 2 says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endured such contradictions of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. Go forward according to the great and wonderful blueprint that God has for each and every one of us in this year of 2021. It's starting out dark, but already it's beginning to be a light at the end. And weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, bless us to go forward accepting all of the challenges and blessings that lies ahead. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Don't forget, wear your mask. Mask up. Practice social distancing. And wash your hands often. And I can't tell you to or not to. But as one of God's chosen leaders... I'm going to lead the way that when the opportunity for me to take the uh, vaccine, I'm going to be there ready and willing uh, because this won't be the first vaccine I've taken. I've been taking vaccines all of my life. And uh, with what we're going through now, it can only get better and it, it can only help us. So. Uh, hang in there and remember that God has a wonderful blueprint for your life. And with that, I'm out of here. See you next week. Take care and know that God loves you. Bye-bye.